All right, here we are for round one of the league. Um, we have the Emily Glare into a Wall of Resurgence. Wall of Resurgence is going to be a little awkward since we're looking for lands. If we draw an island, this hand is great because um, we can curve into some walls and hopefully stall out into these flyers. Uh, we're on the draw. We'll keep this. Opponent is green. All right, Crumbling Vestige, YB. Our turn two play with our Tide Drifter. We make a blue mana. Play this Tide Drifter. Sky Spawner down. We will just gonna animate one of these planes. And yes, we like to do it. I wanna start seeing some more blue sources so we get our second blue source for our patrol. Um, Larva, is, he, is our opponent going for the five color special? <sighs> See what he gets. Forest. All right, no, he's not. Ooh, but it does look like he is stuck on lands. We will take this. Oh, that's sad. This isn't something that we're going to want to get rid of right away, at least. Where that is. An island. I'll pass the turn. To us. Ooh. If he attacks with the Sea Guardian, we will get rid of it. But he doesn't really have any incentive to attack with it right now. Next turn, we'll play the Expedition Raptor. Both we'll our guys. Dampening Pulse. It's not awful. Not great, but not awful. Tending Quills is a pretty good answer for that. Get Expedition Raptor down. Bolster onto these two. And then pass it back. Take another two there. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're one off from being able to do this. We really want a blue source for a Wind Rider patrol. Pretty sure we just want to get this out of the way for now. And I think we'll, if he attacks with this, we'll offer the trade here. He's got a trick, we have the Emlane Glare to survive. See what he has. Ah, 
That's a good one. But it's just getting back one creature. All right. Let's get land. I accept that as well. Six. Play a five. A four, six. Instead of a five, five, a four, six. Which actually does hinder some stuff quite well. Island. I accept that. And now we have reached a board stall. Tap down this flyer. And continue forward. Alright. That was a good one. Uh, we get our second blue mana source. We're able to play Wind Rider Patrol. Blue. We also have Immolating Glare in hand. We will block. This is a pump spell, this could be great. Um, I think we even will tap, unless he plays something else with the Reacher flying. All right, scratch that last plan. Seven. I think we're just going to throw this down. <sighs> South back look at it's pretty good. Part of me that wants to take this for two turns, but get in with this next turn. Let's see, if we take this this turn, next turn, we have these two down, he attacks with everything. We're able to, we're still able to block, block profitably. Yeah, we have three ground blockers. Yeah, I think we take this this turn. Island's not awful. So we're gonna tap down his seed guardian. Attack him for three. And hopefully find our rolling waters. There it is. Our island past the turn. So 
So next turn, we're taking the four here. And we'll be able to Roiling Waters, both of those back to their hand, get in for three again, scry two, and hopefully get back in control of this game. And that. And I will draw two cards. Three, four, five. Six, seven. Isolation zone's a great draw. Both of these are great draws. Get in for three. I'll take the wave wing. Now I just feel like we're in control of this game. So we're just like dodging something that deals four damage, which means we're going to leave uh, negate up for the rest of this game, no matter what. <laughs> Okay, throw that back down, that's fine. Do we attack with this next turn? I think we're in a place that we can. Tap that down. One, two, three, four. F so be able to play Expedition Raptor, attack with this. It'll be a 7-7, seven, seven, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So he has to block with everything if he wants to be able to block it. Yeah. We'll be able to tap down his flyer next turn. We have counter magic up just in case. And he has to sack two permanents. Let's just make sure we're not de dead if he attacks back with everything. We block or flyer gets tapped, and we have one, two, three, four. Yeah, we have blockers. This is just why is this stack over there? That's weird. Get rid of some of those lands. And just chumps with my thing. The thing that I have down. Alright. See Guardians down. Stalking drones down. Short. You're going to tap down the Manta. What we'll probably end up doing is exiling the Seed Guardian and attacking. Ooh, that's quite good. He has one, two creatures in his graveyard, so the Seed Guardian would come back as a 3-3. Three, three. Um... One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three.
Alright, let's just... Let's attack with these two and see where that leads mm. us. Because we could just potentially blow them out with a Royal's Retribution and still have Blind and Drone up to for Cloud Manta. Because one, two, three, mm. four, five, one, one, two. Yeah. And we still have enough blockers in case things go wrong. He'll have to sacrifice or exile two permanents. This is working. It's working out. He almost sacrificed his Bayloth Null instead of some lands. Are we just okay with this trade? I think we are. Yeah, because we can just control the flyer. Yeah, we'll take this. And we get a scry as well. Put... One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we put one on top and we play the wave wing this turn. And now we just keep up the gate. If he attacks, we block. If he has a trick, we counter it. We got there. Getting down to low life. It's still getting there. All right, let's see. Um, we did see some things, so we're gonna keep the one negate in. Mighty Leap might not be awful against him. He seems to be big with flyers. Power to less. That's not gonna be that great against him. Maybe I like the Mighty Leap over the uh, Sky Climber. Mm -hmm. Rolling Waters was just the all star of that game. True all star. I think we're just going to keep with what we have. Um. Because, like, I'm not going to get rid of one of my removal spells for Mighty Leap because. The removal spell is just going to be better. Not going to get rid of a flyer. Yeah, I think we just keep with what we have and hope that we can grind out another game. Uh, this hand's okay. Keep seven, we will also keep seven. Ooh. Our time got down there. Are league games shorter than normal games? It seems like it's late for us already to be down to 13 minutes. Play Sky Spawn next turn, then probably uh, the turn after sack the Scion for uh, Wind Rider Patrol. Um, do I want to trade Scion for Scion? I don't think so. I'll keep this. From Beyond. That's a good one. Um, 
I think we just get in for three, play Wind Rider Patrol. And we'll start playing walls. Our worst enemy here is Seed Guardian. Plummet! That works as well. Alright, now we just want to land. Perfect. Get the Fortified Rampart and then get our own Dwar Isle going. Next turn we get to Expedition Raptor, boost things up. We have Royals Retribution eventually available to us, which will clear out some of these Scions. Sweep away as an unsummon. It's an interesting choice. It's gonna be super aggro here. Uh, I think we're going to play the Expedition Raptor. This gets our small guys to be able to trade off. Like, now if he mass attacks, then he's just losing a bunch of his board. zero cards in hand, so we're just gonna play our Tide Drifter in our Dwar Isle. If he attacks with everything, we'll just be blocking everything, try and preserve our life total. We'll make trades. Yeah, we'll just trade. If he has the tricks, he has the tricks. be good. So let's see, he attacks us for two, and then next turn he's probably gonna go for an all-out attack. Which is where Royals Retribution will help. Probably just goes for an all-out attack here. One, two... So we block three of them. We go down to two. Falling Wild is probably one of the better draws here because it sets us up for Roiling Waters. Probably could have attacked for five there. 
Yeah, we should have attacked there. Alright, and what we're going to do is block these two. We're going to do one, two, three, four, five. In case he has the plus two, plus one. Well, if he has the plus two, plus one, I guess we're dead anyway. One, two, three, four, five. Attack for five. And we're gonna play this gravity indicator. Just have to play a little, get it playing a little bit faster. We really want one of our colorless sources. game is really close. Alright, now we're gonna bounce these, draw some cards. Six, seven. He must not have an Eldrazi in his deck, or else he would, uh... I would have cracked this for a large Eldrazi a while ago. Mm. Strange enough, Eldrazi Sky Spawner is the best draw we can have right now. Sure, keep that one tapped. Oh, that's right, he had to use that for the, uh, I forgot. Gonna attack with both, forces a chump out of him, and we have Sky Climber Emulating Glare as backup. He's got that. It's gonna be fine. He's gonna get rid of our flyer. But we have another flyer in the midst. Ooh, and he's going down to two. And I think this is gonna be game. 
good game. Very close games. Both of those games are very good. Oh, and there's our couple of the source. And with that, we will see you for game number two. Thank you.